We're back in the 2021 player profile presented by rotoheat.com. This time we're talking Michael Pittman, wide receiver, Indianapolis Colts. And if you enjoy everything we're doing here on YouTube and you want to show a little love, smash that like, the subscribe, the notification icon. It helps YouTube's algorithm. And we would really appreciate it. With that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so with all things being said, right now, when we're recording this, Wentz has a foot injury. Uh, so you have to temper some expectations because that means it's either Jacob Eason, who they drafted last year, Sam Ellinger, who they drafted this year. You know, it, it may be somebody else that isn't there yet. I don't know they brought in, was it Brett Hundley? They signed him. Um, so what we did here as a group, we did prior, believing that Wentz was healthy and, and back to, uh, to full go. So you have to be a little mindful with that. That being said, we think Pittman should finish somewhere between wide receiver 28 and 35. Uh, of the 14 analysts that looked at him, you know, 10 are buying him, three are holding him, one are selling. Those are numbers that I think are, are no matter what happens, you know, he's got long-term appeal because the age, because the talent, things like that. Um, we think his IDP, ADP, IDP is Monday Night Show. We think his ADP is somewhere, uh, is going to be higher than it is currently. And we think he's going to be a spot starter this year. And if Wentz isn't the guy, that's definitely true. Probably more spot starter, dart throw than anything, because um, we got to see what this team looks like if, Wentz isn't the guy and they have to go with 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 rookies or second year guys or you know unproven talent um, if you're looking at uh, from a redraft perspective uh, our friends at fantasy pros did a great job they got him about wide receiver 41 or just over 100 at 102 overall uh, if you're looking at our super flex rankings here on rotoheat.com uh, we have them somewhere around 38 wide receiver 38 or 101 overall so very very similar whether in a season long you know kind of yearly format or if you're in a dynasty format um, when i went through the the different analyst notes you know we're all very much on the same page when it comes to really all hinges on what's going on with the quarterback position and unfortunately uh, i don't think we're going to have any clarity uh for the you know for at least for the next few weeks of training camp you know um, potentially he could miss just training camp it could be ready for early season Potentially, he could be gone for an extended period of time. I mean, the, 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 we just don't have enough information to give a full, kind of a full disclosure comment on him. But what we can tell you is that Michael Pittman is a talented receiver. We saw it last year um, with Rivers, who obviously, you know, retired, was on the decline. More on the downside than the upside of his career, uh, Pittman looked good and got people really excited. You know, those that liked Pittman now loved him. Those that were were kind of in the middle started to like him even more. Um, talented player, really did well last year, and I think that's only going to continue to grow. That being said, where are you at with him? I know this Wentz news, you know, is is a bit of a not surprise surprise because we know he's got the injury concerns. Where is he at for you in season long type formats? Where you draft them in redraft, and then where you drafted them in dynasty startup value, or are you buying them? So we got lots of questions. Let's have lots of comments and conversations below. Don't forget to check out the other 2021 Player Outlook playlist below, and we'll talk to you again next time.